Hey guys, in this video, we have some of the best work from home jobs hiring right now that you can get from literally anywhere in the world. So I actually got a comment recently asking for jobs where I would say maybe, well, these are hiring around the world, but they say, well, they're not technically worldwide because you do have to be in certain countries and they would have different listings for different countries. So these are a little different. They let you apply from literally anywhere in the world. Each job listing is for everyone instead of being like specific to certain regions of the world or specific countries. So the first company is Decca Games. Decca Games is a like a game studio. They design video games, I think. And what they have available right now is quite a bit. First of all, they have a lot of jobs available. So one, th one job I thought we would look at is the community manager position. So for this job, what you are going to do, this is a remote position. You can work from anywhere in the world. So they tell you that right there up front. You do not really have to be any specific location. They do want you to work a two hour overlap with the Asia office, but that doesn't mean you have to live in a certain region of the world. That just means your hours overlap wherever that is, whatever types of hours those would be in your country. So. This is something where you will be responsible for daily maintenance and player operation on forums, Discord, and social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. So you would design community events and contests to increase player retention and engagement, establish and maintain a good communication and information workflow between the player base and the operational game team, filter and summarize the community feedback and data to have an in-depth understanding of complex requests from the players. You would also work closely with the game development team to make sure community needs are aligned with development decisions and develop and entertain the core player communication channels. You would monitor community activity through KPIs and OKRs. So requirements for this is not too bad. One to two years of experience in community management in the video game industry, fully operational on forums and social media administration, and ideally graphic content creation tools, create enthusiasm and passion for gaming, ability to communicate with players regarding the game content without cultural, technical, or language barriers, a high standard level of copywriting, desktop publishing, and strong one-to-many communication skills, ability to plan content delivery and accommodate product deadlines and processes, ability to quickly jump from game to game with an extended portfolio of games and native or close to native level of English. So benefits for this job, you have remote first as a company culture, flexible work hours to support a personal work-life balance, weekly remote embodiment at work, breathing and workout exercises, online language classes. So if you want to learn English, German, French, or Spanish, you have that here as well, which is pretty unique. I don't really see that with a lot of other companies as a benefit. Working in a multicultural environment with people from over 29 different countries and then flat hierarchies with an open door policy. So you don't see a lot of stuff like 401ks, paid time off and all that mentioned as much, but you do have a little bit of you know pretty good benefits when it comes to um, what they offer here. Some of them very unique to the company. So as far as what it's like to work at DECA Games, they have 42 reviews. They have four out of five stars. 80% of people actually recommend working here to a friend. As far as benefits here, they don't really have enough information to draw a lot of conclusions yet. Interview wise, they have a 2.4 out of five difficulty rating, which is not bad. And experience wise, 30% positive compared to 50% negative and 20% neutral. Um, I would say that's fairly close to what a normal company has. Most companies are pretty split between positive and negative, but it's also a pretty small sample size. They don't really have enough information on the salary page to know how much they would pay a community manager, but typically they would average somewhere around 63,000 a year or somewhere around $30 per hour. Next, we have a company called Gravity Forms. Gravity Forms is a powerful data capture form builder kind of uh, tool that you can use with WordPress. And Gravity Forms actually has a WordPress writer position available right now. They want an experienced WordPress writer to join the marketing team so that you can write high quality content for the blog, website, and other content channels and help execute the content strategy. You'll only have to do about two to three blog posts a week, so I don't think this is gonna be a very difficult job, as long as you can meet the requirements that they're looking for. So again, you're gonna be focusing on WordPress, writing articles, producing WordPress-centered content, and you're confident to expand on these skills to create newsletters, emails, and social content as well. 
you have experience of using Ahrefs, HubSpot, and Google Analytics or similar tools. Ideally, you have experience of using Gravity Forms. Gravity Flow experience is also a plus. You can write high quality WordPress centered content, whether executing on a defined assignment or on one of your own ideas. First and foremost, your job is to create high quality WordPress centered content for leads and current customers. Content topics range from gravity forms and gravity flow tutorials, product releases and case studies to co-marketing campaign copy. As well as blog posts, you will also handle longer form content like mission plans and PDFs, along with, with shorter term stuff like, or shorter form stuff like newsletters, emails, web pages, and social. So you'll also be doing blog and email. You'll work with the marketing lead and other marketing team members to help plan the blog content strategy. So you'll also be part of implementing the content strategy and be a key player in relationships with Gravity Forms, internal contributors, co-marketing partners, etc. So as far as the SEO and analytics side, you're the resident expert on SEO, which means you need to understand how to rank blog posts and drive organic traffic to the site. You establish strategies and processes for optimizing and repurposing or republishing content to improve SEO. You track and report on analytics for all content you publish and use your findings to inform future planning, helping to drive traffic and revenue numbers. And you also have experience using Ahrefs, HubSpot, and Google Analytics or other tools that are similar. You also engage with the community with this job as well. Part of your job is to push content on social media channels, which includes creating, scheduling, publishing, and monitoring content. Um, comments and then you'll also plan and execute range of monthly newsletters via email you'll support co-marketing opportunities with partners you'll engage with the certified developers and where appropriate you'll also help support events both virtual and in person but as far as about you in terms of qualifications you have in-depth knowledge of wordpress and you're not already familiar if you're not already familiar with products, then you'll need to become an expert, obviously, with any job, that's kind of the case. You're a skilled WordPress writer with keen attention to detail, strong editing skills, and a proven ability to craft a coherent, well-researched blog article. You can hold your own talking shop with developers and can take technical concepts and explain them in an easy-to-grasp way. You're good at managing multiple content contribute contributors and projects with various deadlines. You can take an assignment and run with it and also love to pitch new ideas. And you are a great team player. So they also mentioned this pays up to $70,000 a year in expected salary. As far as the benefits under the working from us section, they will mention what you could get as benefits here. Work-life balance is important to them. So they have flexible working hours whenever possible. So you can find an equilibrium that helps you balance your personal life and career. So you also have paid time off and it's very flexible there as well. There's no set number of days in a year. Health insurance for US-based employees, they offer medical, dental, and vision coverage, and they'll pay 100% of premiums. They have retirement as well. They provide you a mechanism to invest in your future self. And Rocket Genius, which is the company that makes Gravity Forms, is committed to creating a diverse environment and is proud to be an equal opportunity employer. Now, they don't really have a glass door page that I can show you, but the next best thing I like to look for is, okay, well, how are their products or their website rated by customers? So if you can't find reviews on Indeed or a place like Glassdoor where typically employees would basically give reviews on what it's like to apply and work at a company, you can look up and see whether these products are actually legit and whether customers actually like them. And in fact, they do. Gravity Forms has a solid rating of 4.2 out of 5 stars out of 44 ratings on Trustpilot. So you can tell it is a legit verified company that has really solid ratings for their products. Next, we have a company called Blackthorn.io, which allows you to manage events and collect payments powered by Salesforce. So they have a job available right now called a Salesforce Administrator Support Tier 2. So they call this also a Customer Support Engineer Tier 2. So with this job, you will utilize your Salesforce configuration and technical knowledge to provide world-class support to customers. So it's kind of a customer support job or a technical support job. It's a little bit higher than a base level one, but you would provide tier two technical support for customers using various Salesforce native applications. Use Salesforce Service Cloud to triage and help support technical case escalations. So if you have any experience with Salesforce, make sure you let them know. Strong in relationship and building slash management with clients as well as internal stakeholders. 
work closely with project sponsors and stakeholders to assist them with their goals, requirements, project planning, etc. You also establish and manage communication, escalation, and risk management plans. Communicate clearly with management, customers, sales, and developers to ensure customer business requirements are translated accurately for proper troubleshooting assistance. Adhere to escalation procedures for bugs and system impairment issues. You'll also prioritize your own workload effectively with foresight and attention to detail. You'll validate customer reported bugs and help support Create Tickets in JIRA. Serve as an internal Salesforce admin resource to maintain and enhance internal processes as needed and meet or exceed all customer and internal interaction metrics, which are probably some sort of KPIs that they track. So what they look for here is three plus years of experience with customer technical support or as a Salesforce administrator, supporting an organization internally specifically. Experience building and managing complex processes using decorative automation, specifically Flow Builder. Salesforce experience as an administrator or business analyst is preferred. Salesforce admin certification required. Additional certifications would be a bonus. Technically proficient with an aptitude for learning new technologies quickly. I mean, every company pretty much wants that. Prioritizes and plans in a productive manner. Enjoys interacting with customers and speaking to large groups. Excellent problem solving and analytical skills, communication skills, and can prioritize. What they offer in terms of benefits is an incredible team, a deep feeling of satisfaction and completion, a fully remote global team working from home. So there you go. This, there's a proof right there that they are a work from anywhere remote company. Stock options to to every employee. So that's nice. Four day work weeks. That's also very nice. Uh, $400 office stipend for your home office, I'm guessing. Maternity and paternity leave, student loan debt assistance, pledge 1% time off during the year for helping nonprofits. Health insurance contribution if you're in the U.S. and Children's 529 College Fund Assistance if you're in the U.S. So lots of really nice perks here, actually. And as far as their actual glass door page, they have a 4.3 out of 5 star rating. 79% recommend working here to a friend, so their employees seem to like it here. Benefit-wise, Blackthorn.io has a 5 out of 5 star rating. Obviously, that's a perfect rating, but... It is also a small sample size, so it may not always be perfect, but it's a good it's a good start, obviously. You can't start much better than that. So they, they mention things like the four-day work week a lot, so they do actually um, have a four-day work week. They're not just, an, it's not just an empty promise. 2.8 out of five difficulty is pretty standard. 23% uh, positive compared to 54% negative for the experience applying here. Could be a little better, but again, it's a small sample size, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now, a typical customer support engineer, if you're looking at the hourly pay here, is according to four people, somewhere around $45 per hour. If you were to look at annual pay, you're looking at somewhere around $93 per hour, or $93,000 a year. Next, we have a company called All Turtles. They make products. They say that matter, so they have like mm -hmm, which is an all-in-one platform for making, watching, and talking about videos. You have Carrot, which is an accessible expert support for every employee's fertility journey. You have Sora Union, your project's powered by globally distributed teams, empowering you to control your data and your own identity with Cloaked. So a lot of different, like all sorts of different products that they make here. But they actually have one job available right now where um, it's a customer success for Sora Union, which is just one of their products. And All Turtles is a company that hires global. You can see right there for the location, they literally put global. And they also tell you their goal is to hire the best talent available regardless of where you live. They want someone who is looking, they want someone who loves both design leadership and hands-on design work and is excited to contribute to the culture and philosophy of an early stage distributed company. You're, we're only able to accomplish all of this with the right combination of processes and people. And basically, you will be responsible for the customer journey, primarily starting with onboarding and project kickoff. So some of the things you'll actually be doing are taking ownership of client engagement and supporting daily communication through email, chat, and Zoom meetings for your book of business. You'll also be identifying growth opportunities through strategic partnerships and encouraging cross-sales and up-sales. Following up with prospects to ensure conversion of sales through SOW creation and project planning with cross departments. Being a liaison between the client and SOAR union to provide feedback to the internal teams and make sure they are aligned with the client's vision, as well as keeping track of the project's development alongside the project manager and proactively update the client through executive reports and a proposed cadence of touch points. 
Ideally, you'll have two to five years of sales experience with a preference for professional services and products, experience working with decentralized teams and in a remote async environment, proven record of growing and developing client relationships, excellent uh, conflict resolution skills, and excellent attention to detail. This is a full-time, initially six-month contract position. They intend to convert it to full-time later on. Again, this role is a distributed position, can be based in any location. Now, as far as the reviews at All Turtles, they have a 4.3 out of 5 star rating and 82% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they have a 4 out of 5 star rating out of 4 ratings. And people have said things like the benefits patch package is quite standard, similar to other startups. Um, I think is good that the insurance covers dependents. Extra monthly wellness stipend to spend however is best. Um, monthly remote work facility supplement. So basically that they're pretty good is what people are saying. 2.7 out of 5 difficulty is pretty standard, maybe slightly below um, in terms of difficulty. And then again, positive compared to negative, 20% positive compared to 67% negative on interviews could be better, but it's also a pretty small sample size. Now they don't really have enough information on customer success specifically for this company for me to tell you how much they're going to offer you. Typically a customer success rep I guess would be the closest comp comp to this would be like uh, $67,000 a year. Next we have Shopify. You've probably heard of Shopify before. They're one of the biggest kind of like e-commerce platforms that uh, is used to basically fund or to basically run many online businesses these days. People have used them for drop shipping, for print on demand, all sorts of different types of e-commerce, selling all sorts of products and merch online but they actually have an international payroll specialist. And if you look at their jobs, they do have some that say global. Some of them will be in certain regions of the world and then some of them every once in a while will say global. So if you have any experience with payroll or something like that, you could work for Shopify and apply from just about anywhere. So about you, basically they want you to care deeply about what you do, about making commerce better for everyone, excel by seeking professional and personal hyper growth, keep up with an unrelenting pace, be resilient and resourceful in face of ambiguity and thrive on change, bring critical thought and opinion, embrace differences and disagreement to get things done and move forward and work digital first for the daily work. Above, about the role, basically, they say you're an international payroll specialist for the finance team. You'll be processing international payroll on a semi-monthly, bi-weekly, and or monthly basis, maintaining Shopify's payroll system by updating and maintaining payroll records, responding to staff HR managers on payroll-related questions, processing pay increases and calculating back pays, helping with payroll reconciliations and posting payroll to related GL accounts, also assisting with other activities on the team when required and supporting international payroll projects, such as payroll system integrations and transformation initiatives as we work to scale the payroll function. Now, actual qualifications for this job, minimum of three years experience in payroll processing, strong knowledge of international payroll legislation and processes, proven experience using Excel at an advanced level, which obviously is spreadsheets, a willingness to get your hands dirty and help out where needed, ability to multitask, work under pressure, meet deadlines, sensitivity to deadlines, a passion for problem solving, and willingness to learn and adapt to change. Now this part right here is kind of the preferred section. So with this one, they want they would basically prefer that you have experience using Workday, NetSuite, or other cloud-based systems, knowledge of international payroll legislation, experience working with international payroll platforms. They currently work with Activate and Papaya, global experience in SOX working environment as well. And then other details, work remotely, full-time, anywhere in the world, and be sure to apply before April 16th, 2024 at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Now, as far as woods like to work at Shopify, they have a 3.4 out of 5 star rating and 52% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they have a 4.5 out of 5 star rating for benefits. So overall, pretty average, but their benefit ratings are actually really solid. So Apparently have great benefits with company-wide holiday, vacation, vacation and paid time offer pretty good. Maternity and paternity leave seems to be pretty good at around 20 weeks. And they have a stipend for cellular internet and brand new laptop provided, which is nice for your home office. Interview-wise, they have a 2.8 out of 5 difficulty rating, which is standard. A lot more people also had a positive experience applying here than negative, which is also good.
They don't seem to have any information about what a payroll specialist typically makes here, but typically it could be somewhere around $67,000 a year. Or if you do the international payroll specialist, it could be around $77,000 a year. So it could be closer to this number. Next, we have a company called Thera, which is a payroll and bill pay service. So this is at Get. Thera.com. There are a lot of different Thera related companies out there with names that are very similar, so it's easy to get them confused. But they actually have an account executive position available, and it's a remote full time position at a company that's typically known for hiring worldwide. They don't seem to put any. Um, any location stipulations on here either so you should be able to apply from literally anywhere so with this they are actually um, invested in by y combinator which is a big deal for like startups and the key responsibilities fanatically prospect take on the role of an account executive which is sales develop Thera's growth strategy build strong relationships with potential customers and work closely with the ceo and head of ops so about you, you will thrive in the culture if you have a strong bias for action, easily handle ambiguity, and have an entre entrepreneurial spirit. Also requirements, bachelor's degree or relevant equivalent, desire to work in a fast-paced startup environment and lay the foundations of the company's growth strategy. So it doesn't seem like you really have to have a lot of experience as long as you have a bachelor's degree. Seems like you could be all right. Now, typically you want to have a certain personality type for sales. So typically a more extroverted personality type works best. Uh, bonus points though, three plus years of experience, previous experience in payroll or HR tech and previous startup experience. But this is bonus points, which usually means preferred and not necessarily required. Obviously kind of a short and sweet application page, which in a way is kind of a good thing. But as far as actually proving that this is a legit company and Obviously, that's very important. They don't seem to have a Glassdoor or Indeed page yet. However, they do have apparently investors in Y Combinator. Y Combinator is a big deal. In fact, I believe the head of Y Combinator, I don't know if he still is or not, was Sam Altman, which is the guy who's in charge of OpenAI, you've probably heard of. This is their page on Y Combinator, which is for Thera. So they are a legitimate company. You can see they obviously, if they were fake, they would not be on Y Combinator's website. So this was proof to me that they are a legit company. Now, as far as what an account executive typically makes, they make good money. You're talking 167,000 a year on average. Last but not least, we have a company called Trafalia, which is a tech e-commerce group. Now they are a company known for hiring worldwide as well and being fully remote. Sometimes they have you having to work in a certain region of the world or having to apply from a certain region of the world. But this one, they don't seem to mention anything as far as location. It's an SEO manager position. And for this job, basically what you're going to do is design, implement, and manage SEO strategies with a quarterly roadmap. If you're not familiar, SEO is basically search engine optimization, which has to do with ranking content in search engines to basically um, appear when somebody searches for that. It's a probably the best form of marketing, the more the most organic form of marketing, you know, as opposed to say pushing things in front of people through advertising. So still a very popular popular marketing tactic, and that's what that means. But you'll also ensure compliance of SEO best practices execution and make sure SEO is considered in all decisions and marketing campaigns. You will work the SEO specialist to specify, schedule, and deploy SEO improvements and best practices. You will develop and manage SEO projects in partnership with cross-functional teams to ensure execution is planned. Build strategic planning with the content team for new content on site and optimize existing site content based on competitive research. You also own SEO KPI monitoring results and sharing insightful opportunities with stakeholders. You also monitor the overall technical health of the sites by implementing improvements and providing recommendations to the development team when necessary and develop, manage, and constantly improve SEO dashboards with the key metrics to monitor. Requirements for this in terms of qualifications, strong communication skills, great skills for data analysis and the capability to apply it effectively to real situations, problem solving skills, ability to understand the big picture, current knowledge of digital project management systems and tools, things like Asana, G Suite, and Slack, etc. 
proven ability to effectively lead and manage multiple projects simultaneously, strong structured thinking as well as proactive attitude, proven ability to prioritize, meet deadlines, make use of limited resources and fluency in English. They offer you things like collaborate with world-class talents, opportunity to grow and develop both professionally and personally, and things like uh, openness to new ideas and initiatives and great benefit package, including remote work, 15 working days of paid holidays, earning subsidy, and more. So they don't go real into detail with their benefits here, but if you go to their actual career listings page, they have a little bit more. So you get like a training budget for like courses, conferences, and events. You have paid vacation, of course. They mentioned the 15 days we talked about. Performance bonuses. You have access to co-working spaces, health insurance subsidy, technology stipend for basically a reimbursement of hardware and software depending on your needs for your home office. You get paid to exercise and meditate as well as family leave that can be applied once you've been there at six months or more. As far as what it's like to work at Trafalia, they have 226 reviews. They have a 3.6 out of 5 star rating and 66% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, you have 4 out of 5 stars. They only have 3 ratings, so it's very small sample size, but 4 is not bad. Interview wise, you have 3.3 out of 5 difficulty, so it may be a little more difficult to get a job here than some other places. But interview wise, they have a 45% positive compared to 42% negative. So that's very standard. They don't seem to have any information for an SEO manager specifically at this company, but on average, a SEO manager makes pretty good money at around $104,000 a year. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. If you thought this was a helpful video, please click the like button. It tells me what types of content you enjoy the most and that you are looking for the most. As far as leaving a comment, you can ask me a question or suggest something for future videos. I try to get to or at least read as many of those as possible, and I'll see you in the next video.